The former governor of Jigawa State, Sule Lamedo, has asked the All Progressive Congress, ABC, led administration of President Bola Tinubu to take pre preventive measures against the general discontent in the country arising from poverty, high cost of living, and the insecurity currently bedeviling the nation to avert a, a likely disaster. Lamedo, who was Foreign Affairs Minister under the former President Olusegun Obasanjo, on his verified Facebook war, used two analogies by two famous persons to capture the near disaster waiting to happen if the government failed to take preemptive measures. The first of the two famous people is Fidel Castro. He narrated a story of a rich man on a holiday in his illustrious yacht while indulging in the upper deck of the yachts with all the comfort money can buy. His workers were grooming in the heat of the engine room. The commotion coming from the engine room arising from the unbearable heat started shaking the yacht violently. It was a signal to the rich man and his friends on the upper deck to either respond to the commotion from the engine room or risk the yacht overturning. The other famous man is our very own Bishop Kuka. During the era of our blessed PDP, there were cries of hardship arising from the increase of the pump price of fuel and the then serious insecurity from Boko Haram co culminating in the abduction of Chibok Gays in Yube State. There was general outcry all over the country from the then opposition, APC, organizing protests against the PDP government. I vividly recall when Buhari, uh, Tinubu, and other big wings of the APC poured out and filled the streets of Abuja chanting and con condemning our government for allegedly failing to secure Nigeria and unleashing hardship on the citizens. That was when my good friend Bishop Kuka presented his paper, alerting to the impending danger should the government fail to take urgent action. He said that in Nigeria today, the hardship is so unbearable that signs of early warnings are manifesting all over the country, citing Lagos and Mina where women had demonstrated over high costs of living. According to him, the two analogies quoted above and the manifest manifestation of the seeming tension arising from these local protests and demonstrations and the likely spread of these nationwide are enough to make the government take urgent action. Lamedo spoke just as human rights activist and convener of consigned Nigerians, DJ Adeyoju, told Tunubu that it was imperative to recognize that Nigeria is sitting on the time bomb of hardships, banditry, insecurity, and kidnapping. He said the accumulative effect of these challenges has pushed our nation to the brink. If urgent measures are not taken to cushion the effects of this hardship, we fear that mass protests may erupt across the country, potentially leading to a serious uh, revolution. <laughs> well, the handwriting is already there on the wall. It's not led for the government to do the needful. Now, instead of them to take action, you're talking about the hardship and the, the hard economic barracks on Nigerians. They are busy blaming opposition parties, sponsoring Nigerians to protest. Me, I don't know where that one from come. You know, this is, this is one thing about life. Anybody when ready to learn, eh? Anybody when ready to learn. 
You know they you know they do all this blame blame game. Now person when we say, you know ready to learn. We always give you reason why something they happen. Yes, if someone tells you your clothes is dirty, oh, okay. Let me see how I will make it clean next time. It's not that when they tell you, eh, not be so I sit down there, and now that person I use a hand push me, and this you are you are now trying to pick things that does not really matter. That is not the subject matter. The issue here is Nigerian economy is gone. It don't collapse, and all these things is because of the harsh policies by the government. Next time, in future. These people have to learn that you cannot just come out and, you know, implement policy that you, oh, because people are saying uh, first subsidy must go, then you just stand up, you just sleep and wake up without, without any plan. You say, eh, we, are, we don't longer, we, no, no, no more first, first subsidy is gone. It doesn't work like that. Do you even think about the aftermath of your pronunciation, your actions. That is what we should be talking about. Your actions. After your actions, when you don't take action, something they follow. Do you think about these things when you are making all this pronunciation? How would this affect the masses? No. Today, people can barely eat three square meals in a day. Even to save people, they go they go bed without food. And you know what all these things means. When people are hungry, they are not happy people. Very soon, if this thing is not addressed, this problem, the government might not be able to control what is uh, or what will happen because this is the issue of people being hungry. I better make a drop out for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.